Hello and welcome to Tuesday's update from the staff team here at Forward Free Methodist Church. It's great to speak to you. Just a few things we'd like to say to you. First of all, a massive thank you to everyone who gave to our CAP Christians Against Poverty gift day last week. We've been overwhelmed by the amount raised and it will be around and probably over £20,000 and we just give praise to God for that and thank you all so much for your kind donations. Today's our prayer day. We pray at two o'clock and at seven o'clock on Zoom. If you can join us, please do. We have a great time there. Three in the evenings throughout November, we're going to be joining to pray for other churches in our city and those in our denomination. And we'd love you to join with us if you can. This evening, we're going to be praying for St Matthew's Church in Preston and for Carn for Three Methodist Church and Thornton Free Methodist Church. Exciting things are happening and they really value our prayer. So please, if you can, do join us this evening. Friday should have been our youth service, but with a change in restrictions, sadly that can no longer take place. But can I encourage you, and particularly if you've got young people in your home or a young person listening, do follow the Impact page on Facebook and Instagram, where they're um, sharing messages with you and different activities. So please do keep connected with that. Coming up on this Sunday, we're meeting together to um, share in a remembrance service together. Now this will be online, there's no in-person services anymore at the moment, but join us online, but it will be at 10 to 11 this week to allow us to have our two minute silence at 11 o'clock with the rest of the nation. So please do join us then if you can. A couple of things um, in relation to that. Uh, last week I asked you to um, make some pebbles, some remembrance pebbles that we can put at the foot of our Tommy soldier in our grounds. Thank you so much to those who have already decorated and dropped them off. Please can I encourage you to keep doing them if you're um, on with them and just drop them off as you're passing church, just pop them at the foot of the soldier and we really appreciate that. Just a symbolic way of being present with us on Sunday, even though we can't be. And on Sunday evening, we're sharing a video presentation from Searchlight Theatre Company and Jeff Lucas. And it's a story of Woodbine Willie. He was a pastor in the um, armed services and he just shares the story. Um, they share the story of what it was like on the front line and of some of the um, interactions he had with the soldiers. It's a great story and we really encourage you to join us at seven o'clock. It will just be a live stream, so once it's been shown, that, that's it. So you've just got that one chance to watch it at seven o'clock on Sunday evening. It'll be great for anybody, any children high school and above, but also it'll be great for all your non-church friends as well to join in. So please can I encourage you to do that. If you're following the Bible in a year, you'll have got to the book of Hebrews today. And um, I just want to read a few verses from there. It's chapter four. And this is verses 14 to 16, and I'm reading from the message translation. Now that we know what we have, Jesus, this great high priest with ready access to God, let's not slip, let it slip through our fingers. We don't have a priest who is out of touch with our reality. He's been through weakness and testing and experienced it all, all but sin. So let's walk right up to him and get what he is so ready to give take the mercy, accept the help. And I know so many folks are struggling right now. They don't want another lockdown. They don't want another time of separation from loved ones. And it's not what we want. But can I encourage you in this time to go to the one who has everything we need. He is our God of hope. He is the one who loves us, who cares for us. And this verse encourages us to go to him and receive help from him. So whatever you're feeling today, I can encourage you to do that, to seek God and seek what he has for you. He is the all-sufficient God. He is the creator of the universe. And yet he wants a relationship with you and with me. And today that puts a smile on my face and gives me hope and joy in my heart. And I hope it does for you too. Have a good week and we shall see you all soon. If you need anything, please do get in touch with us and we would love to help you in any way we can. God bless.